Hi everybody, welcome to LB's Rockin' Readers. Today we're going to be reading a collective noun book called Herd of Cows, Flock of Sheep by Rick Walton, illustrated by Julie Olson. A collective noun is a word that describes a group of nouns. Let's get started. The rain would be coming soon, so Farmer Bob worked day and night and day and night to harvest his crops. A little rain would be good for his plants, but too much could destroy them and Farmer Bob guessed there might be too much rain. Finally, the corn, the potatoes, the beans, the tomatoes, all were safe in the barn, stored up high where they'd stay dry. He'd take them to the market later. But first, he had something important to do. Sleep. He trudged into his little house by the river, took off his boots, put on his pajamas and his sleep mask, and dropped into bed. He was so tired, he hadn't slept in days. Farmer Bob had guessed right. That night the rain came, a lot of it. It made the river rise. It slowly rose up the steps and into the Farmer Bob's house. It rose so high that it pushed open the double doors in Farmer Bob's bedroom, picked up his bed and floated it right outside and Farmer Bob didn't notice a thing because he was so tired and so sound asleep. In the morning, far down river from Farmer Bob's house, a flock of sheep grazed. One looked up from his chewing and saw a most unusual sight. Bah, she said. The other sheep looked. Bah, 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 bah. They ran to the river and called out to Farmer Bob. Bah, bah, bah. Farmer Bob stirred, but he was still so tired. Half asleep, he shouted, Flock of sheep, quiet! I'm tired! I need my sleep! A herd of cows heard the sheep and came to see what ha was happening. They joined the sheep in trying to warn Farmer Bob. Moo! 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 Ba! Moo! Ba! Ba! Moo! Farmer Bob hollered back, Herd of cows, flock of sheep! Quiet! I'm tired! I need my sleep! A pack of dogs looking for some fun followed the noise and discovered the floating farmer. They joined the hullabaloo. Arf! 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 Moo! Arf! Ba! 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 Moo! Arf! Oh, won't they just leave me alone? said Farmer Bob to himself, and he shouted. Pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep, quiet! I'm tired! I need my sleep. A drove of pigs rooting in a field went to investigate. What was that? A sleeping farmer floating down the river? Didn't he know what was at the end of the river? Oink, 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 moo, moo, moo. Bah, moo, arf, oink, arf, oink, moo. Animals today just have no manners, said Farmer Bob to himself. He shouted. Drove of pigs, pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep, quiet! I'm tired! I need my sleep! An army of frogs hunting flies by the river saw Farmer Bob. Oh no! He was floating towards... Ribbit! Ribbit! Moo! Moo! Wink! Arf! Ba! Moo! Ribbit! Ribbit! Moo! Ba! Arf! How rude! said Farmer Bob. Army of frogs, drove of pigs, pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep, quiet! I'm tired! I need my sleep! The animals started to panic. The farmer was still floating and there wasn't much time left. They sent out a general all-purpose, come quick, it's an emergency alarm, and they were quickly joined by creatures of all kinds. The pigs outlined a plan and everyone sprang into action. A colony of beavers raced down river and began chewing down trees. Splash! Into the river the trees fell. A school of fish tried to push them together into a dam, but it wasn't working. The trees just floated away too quickly. So much for plan A. The pigs quickly outlined plan B. A nest of mice brought their lifetime collection of rope and string, which a gaggle of geese carried in to the bed and tied around the bed posts. Then the geese took the string in their bills and tried to fly, but no, the bed was too heavy to lift. On to plan C, and time was running out. 
a cloud of gnats flew out to the farmer and up his nose while the swarm of bees began to sting the farmer's toes. Farmer Bob swatted and kicked. Bothersome bugs, he muttered. Must have left the window open. The gnats and bees were not stopped. They kept flying up his nose. They kept stinging his toes. Finally, Farmer Bob couldn't take it anymore. He flipped off his sleep mask and shouted, That's enough! I'm going to get you pesky yipes! Farmer Bob finally realized where he was. Help me! Help me! I can't swim! The rest of Plan C then kicked in. A herd of horses formed a line. A nest of snakes joined in. The last snake crawled onto the bed, wrapped himself around Farmer Bob's leg, and pulled him into the river. Nay, 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 said the horses as they pulled. The snakes tightened, and slowly, together, they dragged Farmer Bob from the river, just as his bed went over the waterfall. On the riverbank, while a clouder of cats kept him warm and a rafter of turkeys fanned him dry, the pigs jumped on Farmer Bob's belly to push out all the river water. <coughs> cough, cough. A gush of water came out of Farmer Bob's mouth. The pigs hopped off and Farmer Bob sat up. Thank you, thank you, you saved my life, you wonderful animals. And bugs, he added when he saw the gnats and bees. And to show his gratitude after he dried and cleaned his soggy house, Farmer Bob issued an invitation. Nest of mice, army of frogs, drove of pigs, pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep, and other friends who found me asleep and saved my life. Life. Bug, bird, and beast, come to my place for a feast. Oh yes, school of fish, you're invited too. And they all came. Farmer Bob got out his good set of china and served sacks of pancakes, messes of grits, bunches of bananas, and all the corn and potatoes and beans and tomatoes his friends could eat. And when they finally left, full and happy, Farmer Bob went out and bought a new bed, which he put in his new bedroom on the second floor, and went to sleep. The End Thank you so much for listening to LB's Rock and Readers. I'll see you next time.